everyone and welcome back to another video. Now I'm super excited for today because today we're going to be answering your questions for the 500 subs q and I'm super excited for this and I saw um, on my Instagram that you guys asked a lot of questions. So let's get right into them. Now the first question is, are you going to work as a musician or have something else planned? Um, I actually, like, for, plan A is to work as a musician, okay? like. Music is my life, I love music, and it's, it's my way to express myself and I want to help people through music, like music helped me. Um, but I do have like plan B's if I, like in the future after um, I, after I like go through the army and stuff, um, if I won't want to do music anymore. Um, I do have um, other things that really interest me like psychology or um, astronomy even. So plan A is to work as a musician but I do have other things that interest me that I would love to learn like beyond music. Um, but great question, thank you. <laughs> Next question. If you could jam with any musician or band who would it be? Um, that's a tough one. I would really love to jam with Brent, with Brendan Yuri because it seems like such a cool dude, and and like his music inspired me so much. I would also really love to jam with Twenty One Pilots because they just I love their music style and their vibe and all of the covers that they do. Um, like on their shows, so I would really love to jam with them. Um, and even Fallout Boy, <laughs> I would love to jam with them too. Just because you know, like those three, like Brandon Yuri, Twenty One Pilots, and Fallout Boy, are the ones who really um, gave me the inspiration for the more rock vibe and just really gave me a lot of inspiration for my music. Um, so yeah, I would love to jump with them. Next question. <laughs> How long does it take to learn all the notes on, on the guitar and what approach will you recommend? Um, if you're talking about like for covers, how long does it take me to prepare for a cover? I would say about a month or two for um, from when I first start just because um, you know I have other stuff that I do with work and stuff and a lot of the times the chords that I find um, on the internet are actually not um, the right chords that I need for this cover that I do so what I do is I sit with my guitar and I just Go, like it's kind of like an ear training stuff um, which I would recommend for you guys just try to understand the chord progression um, with your ears because it will really develop your like musical hearing um, so I would say with like um, on the cover side of things it would take me it, for me it takes about a month or two um, until like the cover is perfect and I can move on to another one. Um, the approach I would recommend if you want to do a cover or something is first of all understand what key you're in um, because understanding the key of the song is super important because then you can actually understand the chords because um, if you guys learn music theory you learn that um, each key has specific um, has specific chords in it, and those chords create those chord progressions. Like um, the first chord in the key, the fifth chord in the key, and the second chord in the key, um, which is like a one to five um, is a chord progression that is a very popular <laughs> thing in um, in music in general. So once you learn these, um, 
it will be a lot easier to do covers and understanding them. After that, and you after that you um, when you understand all of the chords and you know which chord comes when, that's when you go for practice, 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 practice. Um, <laughs> like honestly, that's it. Um, because the practice makes perfect. Uh, like I know it's a cheesy, a cheesy thing, and like people say that all the time. But it's true. There's a reason why people say it. And um, like if you try to do singing and um, playing at the same time, divide the two. First, start with. Um, whatever makes you comfortable like I usually first start with um, the playing and just um, understanding the chords um, everything there and once I get the playing perfect then I move on to the singing and I go through the song I see what I have to do vocally um, perfect that and then I combine the two because when those two are perfect and you know them very well then it's easier to just combine them instead of just trying to learn how to sing the song with learning how to play it at the same time it just makes it a lot easier for you um and yeah like <laughs> i would say that is like the most ever <laughs> like that's the most you need to do um and really just don't give up on practicing like if you if you um, if you like approach a problem and you see that you can't play that specific chord progression for like three times in a row, just let it rest for the day and pick it up another day. Like give yourself a day rest. Just let it marinate in your head and let let yourself rest, and then pick it up like the day after. Um, just because sometimes those breaks are really important and after those breaks you'll see that it's really easy and you just like frustrated yourself too much so make sure you give yourself a break once in a while um, but yeah that's the approach I would recommend um, and only once you perfect the cover and all the playing and stuff then move on to the next song. Don't try to learn like two at the same time because it will just, you know, mess with your head and confuse you. So take it one at a time. <laughs> Great question though, like really, really good. <laughs> I wish someone would, t would tell me that like when I first started. Next question. Do you play video games? And if you do, which one is your favorite? I do play video games. I played video games since I was a little girl. Um, I actually first played them with my big brothers, and I play with them Minecraft and Maple Story, the original Maple Story. And it, like, it's one of my best memories. So video games are a big part of my life. Um, like I would say, like on, on the computer. I would say Minecraft is my favorite, um, and maybe Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's is my favorite. Uh, um, is my favorite. It's my favorite franchise, like in general in video games, just because I really love the gameplay and I love. Um, I just love the storyline and everything and. It's really cool for me and you know what security breach is coming next month and I'm so ready for this <laughs> um, because I have my own theories I love making theories about it also so yeah but in favorite video games I would say Five Nights at Freddy's and Minecraft because those are my two classics <laughs> and I really enjoy them um, let's see next question who is your favorite youtuber Matt Pat, <laughs> game over. <laughs> like, honestly, Matt Pat is my favorite YouTuber. I love game theory. I love watching game theory and like all of the side channels, like GT Live and Food Theory and um, Film Theory. 
I, I watch all of them because I really enjoy them. And like, if you would ask me like two years ago, I would say um, Crank That Frank, but he took down all of his videos, which makes, which made me really sad because he would like just make me smile all the time. I loved watching his videos and I watched them for like three years before he like three or four years we took before he took them down so um, he was my favorite youtuber and gradually it became um, game theory which I've been watching for at least five years at this point because let's be honest who doesn't love Mad Pat <laughs> um, but yeah th he's my favorite youtuber next question Musical artist you would most like to meet? I would really love to meet 21 Pilots. Um, I would love to talk with Tyler about um, about music and about um, his poetry because his poetry really um, inspired me as a songwriter and I would really love to talk with him about that. I would love to talk with Josh and talk with him about drums and how he does everything and just everything in general. Like they both seem like such cool dudes and I would really enjoy just talking with them. Um, I would also really love to meet water parks. Um, just also because they seem like such cool dudes and they look like, they seem like such like fun people that I would really enjoy just talking to them and getting to know them. Um, next question. <laughs> if you could only have one instrument, what would it be? If we consider my voice as an instrument, my voice. No question. Because my voice um, is just, it's the way I express myself. And if I had to choose an instrument in general, I would choose my voice. Um, but in instruments that you play, I would pick I would pick my guitar. Um, I've had my guitar for four years at this point, like almost four years, and I absolutely love it. Um, before it, um, before I bought it, I used to play my brother's guitar. Um, they both had guitars, but one guitar was better than the other, so I took the better one. Um, and guitar is just my favorite instrument. I, I wanted to play it because I saw my big brothers play it, and I really loved the sound, and I just fell in love with it from the first moment I heard it. And I absolutely love my guitar, and I write most of my songs on guitar, so absolutely, my guitar, every day. <laughs> um, will you ever do metal reaction? Um, I would love to do metal reactions. Set, like, if you want me to do a metal reaction, please recommend um, metal bands for me to listen to, because I, I want to listen to things that you guys recommend for me, because I in genres that I don't really know um, like know very well like rock or pop rock or um, pop punk um, like those genres I know very well but metal is something that I know less well and I would really enjoy just learning more about it and really be able to appreciate it more so if you want me to if you want me to do metal reactions Please leave, the, leave in the comments down below suggestions and I would add them to my list. Um, as I told you guys, I have a reaction list and, and I put everything that you guys suggest in there. So make sure you guys suggest things that you want me to react to because I do write everything down. Um, next question. Favorite brand of chocolate? <laughs> Didn't expect those kind of questions, but sure. Um, we have a brand in my country, um, which in rough translation to English, it's called cow chocolate. And it's 
absolutely heavenly and I love it so much um like it's perfect it's the perfect chocolate and yeah it's absolutely perfect so that's my favorite brand <laughs> um let's see what is your favorite meal I have two favorite meals actually that my mom makes and I they're absolutely they are absolutely my favorite so the first one which I like like least from those two um, is the spaghetti with um, with I try to translate this for you guys <laughs> um, it's the spaghetti with the um, orange veggies um, which is like pumpkin and sweet potato and carrots and it has garlic in it and black pepper and it's so good like honestly you guys it's incredible <laughs> and I love it so much and my all-time favorite meal ever is something that I gave the name to when I was like five years old so give me a break guys and I gave it the name um, again translating for you guys um, chicken hidden in rice Basically, the description of the meal. Um, it's chicken that you put um, in rice and you bake it in the uh, bake it, <laughs> um, and you make it in the oven. And um, in the rice, there is a lot of garlic and onions and ginger and um, and salt and pepper, and it's so good. And you know like the rice gets a little bit of the of like the chicken stock and stuff so it's it, it's honestly amazing um, and it's my favorite meal of all time and my mom makes it once in a while and it's my absolute favorite I could eat it every day <laughs> um, let's see do you have any pets I don't. Um, I used to have um, pets. If you follow me on my Instagram, you saw him. Um, I used to have a dog, but then he died on December last year. Um, he was like almost 14, so he was very old. And I still love him to death. And. I kind of wrote a song about him after that because I we've had him since I was really really little and you know I don't have any pets now but my parents have been talking for a few months about getting a new dog so maybe we'll have a new member in the family um, so stay tuned <laughs> um, next question favorite TV show that's one stuff. <laughs> um, favorite TV show. Hmm. You know what? Let's go to my Netflix and just uh, and let's just see there. Because I can't think of any right now. Like it's like I have a blackout. Um. Hmm. I'm on my Netflix like right now. Oh, absolutely! Like I watch this on Netflix, but absolutely love it. Um, and it's called Merlin. My favorite TV show of all time. It's incredible, and honestly, if you haven't seen Merlin, go see it. <laughs> It's, it's an apple, it's, it's perfect, okay? Like, I don't have any words, it's just, it's the perfect TV show ever. And I hate how it ended, but I love it to death. And last questions, guys, for this Q&A. A song that you can't live without. Hmm. Again, guys, this is tough, because there are a lot of songs that I don't see myself where I am now, like without them. 
Um, I'm on my Spotify right now. <laughs> Song that I can't live without. I think, um, first of all, The Kids Aren't Alright by Fall Out Boy. Absolutely my favorite song by them, and it's incredible and amazing, and I love it. And this song got me through so much in my life that it's absolutely up there, like, on my favorites. And I don't see myself like who I am now without this song. Um, I would also say It's Gonna Turn Around by Michelle Krieber. Um, I actually covered that song last year, so if you want, you can go and watch it. Um, that song came out when I was in ninth grade, and I absolutely love the song. And it also came at the time which I really, really needed to hear that, like those words. So it's also a song that I don't see myself where I am now without it. Um, so I would say, like, if you allow me to have those two songs, um, I would say it's gonna turn around by Michelle Krieber and the kids aren't all right by Fallout Boy because those two got me through so much it's incredible and that was it thank you guys so much for sending me all those questions i really enjoyed answering all of them and i really hope you guys learned a little bit more about me um through them because this was the whole point of this for you guys to get to know me better um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, thank you so much for 500 subs because this wouldn't happen without you guys. Um, like you make me smile every day and I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you so much. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you did subscribe, please click the notification bell because I do try and post every week. Um, I'll leave my social media links down below so you can go and follow me there. Um, I'll try to do more Q&As on my Instagram. Um, and um, who knows, maybe I'll go live some sometime soon. Um, so make sure you guys go and follow me there. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did and I'll see you all next time. Bye!